Hey guys, welcome to my art room. Today I'm going to show you how to make a few different types of spring flower drawings to welcome the new season. For my first drawing, I'm going to use this cup to trace around, make a nice circle. Over here I'm going to do a half circle for a different kind of flower. And then I'm going to trace around something small and round for these other flowers. Um, I think you could draw them on your own or trace around something. So right now I'm drawing around a marker cap, but you could also just draw them freehand. For this flower, it's kind of like a tulip. I'm just drawing these diagonal lines and then patterns. These ones I'm gonna add petals to. When you make your drawings, you can do any kind of flowers you want. I'm just giving you some different ideas you can try. Over here, I'm gonna trace around my finger to make all the petals the same size. If it's gonna run into another flower, you can just draw part of the petal so it looks like it's behind instead of on top of the flower. Go all the way around with these finger-sized petals, and then I'm gonna draw the stems coming down. Two lines next to each other for each stem, and then I'll draw some different types of leaves. These ones have round leaves, this one has a diagonal line and a curved line, and then these ones have kind of round leaves too. Now I'm gonna start coloring my flowers. You can color your flowers with whatever you want. I'm gonna use a little bit of crayon, draw some different patterns in crayon colors, and then later I'm gonna draw over it with marker and then water. So it looks like watercolor paint on top of crayon. So the crayon, I'm just gonna use little patterns. And when I put the paint or marker over it, you'll be able to see those patterns come through. So after I'm done with that, I'll get out a color of marker and then start drawing. I'm gonna do all of these flowers purple. You can do your flowers different colors. Each petal could even be a different color. I thought this one was gonna be a pink tulip, but I'm gonna put blue on top and it will still have pink stripes. And then I'm gonna put orange inside here and then put just around the outside with color. This way you can fill it in with the color when you add water later. You don't have to spend the whole time filling in the color. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna get out my jar of water, get my paintbrush wet, and then brush the paint brush over the color and it will make the color kind of bleed and then it'll look like you painted it. So I'm gonna do the orange here and then rinse the brush and do the next color. So I'm gonna just brush, it's just plain water over the color and it makes the Crayola markers bleed and turn into a paint look but it's still darker around the outside. After you're done with the colors in your flowers, you can add some grass on the bottom and then just brush over the whole thing. And next, I'm gonna do a new drawing. So now I'm gonna show you how to draw tulips. You draw letter U shapes, make them pretty big to take up your whole paper, and then draw a diagonal line and then another diagonal line connecting to the other side. Tulips have these little bits in the middle so you can draw those also. Draw two lines coming down from each for the stems. And then draw a diagonal sort of curved line coming up from the sides. You can make them just next to the flower next to it, but sometimes it goes behind it and then you don't have to draw the whole leaf. I'm gonna color this like the other one. I'm gonna start with a little bit of crayon and then later put some marker. So I'm just gonna put some stripes of crayon color to leave some nice bright green here. And then I'll do that in the flowers also. 
each of my flowers is going to be a different color so i'm going to put some stripes of pink here some diagonal stripes of red on this one um, stripes of purple here and for the last flower i think i'll do that one pink also and then after i color it in i'm going to get the marker and just do around the outside of each shape with the marker and maybe a line down the middle but you don't have to color the whole thing in i'm going to use water to finish filling in the color so i have green for the stems and leaves and then for the flowers i'm going to use a different color than i did in with the crayon so these ones had pink and then i'm putting red on top this one had red and then I'm going to put yellow on top and the purple stripes are going to have blue. And then now for the fun part, I'm going to get out my water, get the brush nice and wet and then brush on top of the marker and then into the middle of each shape with your water. Rinse your brush in between to get more water and also to wash off the color. The blue and purple look really nice together and I love how I can still see the stripes of color underneath. So I've got all my flowers painted in and then I'll get my brush wet again and I can paint in the stems and leaves. Happy spring and thanks for watching. I can't wait to see the drawings and paintings that you make.